making is first we have this this bag and the top note die cuts out the cutout is really nice to be able to use for as a bag topper for our um, small cellophane bags or even the medium ones so the small ones if you fold it this way it'll fit over the small cellophane bag if you turn it and you fold it this way it'll fit over our medium cellophane bags so that's how I did that so what we're gonna do is first we're going to take our top note and we're gonna fold it in half you can score this beforehand if you want so I'm just gonna take that and take my bone folder Okay. Then, so normally what I do is I will stamp first and then punch out the image with my punch. So this is my scallop oval punch and um, this is actually the imaging sheet that I used with the stamp imaging. But what you could do is once you stamped it, then you could turn your punch over and then you see exactly where Sorry, you can see exactly where you're going to punch, so you could just punch it out, but I wanted you guys to be able to use whatever punch you wanted to use, or whatever stamp you wanted to use. So what you can do is, if you have a stamp on the jig, what you can do is you can take repositional adhesive like this dotto, put a little bit on the scotch paper, and then push that down. Here I have my stamp on the jig, and this is just an imaging sheet that I made for, um, that's permanent, that you can just, since I'm going to be using them all the time with the stamp set, I just made a permanent one, and what you can do is you can just hold it over that. This is our vellum cardstock, which is a little bit thicker than just vellum paper, and then, let's see, so the way that I wanted to color this was... I wanted to take, this is my not quite navy marker, and I can take it and I can color on the, the stamp just what I wanted to make that color. This is why I love the markers. I can do that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the chocolate chip marker and I'm going to color the rest of the stamp. Markers are really great because they have two tips. They have a brush tip and they have a fine tip for writing. So anyway, then after you do that, you just want to re-moisten the stamp. Oh, looks like I got a little bit right here. Okay. You just want to re-moisten the stamp just by breathing on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. So you can position this exactly where you want it. And then you take the stamp on the jig. And the little scallop oval piece won't move because I temporarily adhered it to the grid paper. Okay. So that's that. 
lift and I can just lift it right up. Okay, then after I put whatever I wanted to put in here, like here, I put these candies in here. Let me zoom back out. So I put these candies in this one. And so they fit perfectly in here. And you can just put whatever you wanted to put in here. You could put candy or you could put a small little gift or whatever you wanted to put in there. And then you can hold it down. And the way that you can adhere it so that it doesn't fall off is you can, this is our horizontal slot punch. And you can just come in here. Okay, and then I can take a little bit of the Whisper White Organza and I can tuck it right in. I'm just going to estimate about how much I'll need. Pull the other side through. I'm just going to tie a little bow or a little knot. And it helps to hold the end of the ribbon when you're trimming and you get a nice clean cut. Okay, I'm just going to put this over here. Okay. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals, which is dimensional adhesive. Just like these little foam adhesives, uh, hexagons, I think. And just put it on the back of my sentiment. Just make sure it's straight. And then what also came in there in your pocket was a little button and you can take, this is our hemp twine and I'm just going to tuck it in or you can leave it by itself, it's up to you. Okay, so there's that. And then all I do is I take one of our mini glue dots. And then you can just unroll it and you can press whatever you're trying to stick down to it. I'm just going to put two on here just so it stays on. And there's that. There's that first project and you can put whatever you want in the bottom.